To me, our body's like a family. They stick together, they know each other. But when, once that one of that family member's out, and then a new, a new person comes in, they don't really like it as much. So if I didn't take it, like maybe for a day, maybe my white cells might attack it and then damage it, and then I could maybe I'll die. That's what could have? That's what I think it might happen. So that's the reason why I take that medicine. It's really important. It was a love-hate relationship. At first, I was never really responsible for medications. I would always have my mom get them for me. And it was in your experience when I to actually time when I take my medications. I mean, when I had my tra when I came out of transplant, they gave me a dose set. Give me a list of medications, I never understood them. They sound like gibberish to me. They gave me a list, you know, do this, do that. This one, I will, I will, and because of the priority zone, the morning medication affecting my mood, I started crying like a little girl. I mean, they gave me a list. I was like, no, I don't want to do it. No, <laughs> too long. I started crying, but I had my choice. They told me, slowly you get used to it, it'll become easier. I said, no way, Jose. They said, yes, way. I said, okay. So, it took a lot of learning at first, but people come in, the pharmacist comes and like explains it all and gives you these long lessons and kind of boring, but you know, it's fine. Um, well, it's just a thing I have to do. If I like it or not, I'm had to face it. I do have to take my meds. My mom used to remind me all the time when I was younger and once that rejection happened, I kind of just realized that I had to get it done and yeah. It took me a while to get used to the times because I had to have them like eight in the morning, eight, nine, you have to be really strict with that because if you don't take them on time, you could have a rejection possibly. Taking my meds every 12 hours, that is my challenge. And that will probably always be my challenge, but I'm going to have to face it, like I'm facing it right now. There's a lot of meds. It's a Corolimus. On Predazone. Which is FK. Nystatin. MMF. And sodium phosphate. Renitidine. Some other stuff I can't think of right now. I was on a bunch before transplant and a bunch right after transplant. But post transplant, six months now, I'm only on two medications. Because at the beginning, after my transplant, you get liquid medication that you have to take in, like the syringe thing without the needle in it and a squirt into your mouth. And I advise to have something flavored nearby because they do not taste very well. So have like milk or juice or something to drink right after that. It's drinking medication that tastes horrible. I didn't really like it. And I still don't like it either way, but. I did have to take them at school though, which kind of sucked. But this, yeah, you had to more normally take food with it. My first period was a cooking class. So that helped. You're only supposed to take it twice a day, but because my metabolism is so high, I burn through it really fast, so I'm on it three times a day. So instead of just taking it at like, oh, once in the morning, once at night, I have to take it in the afternoon as well, which if I'm doing stuff after school, it's kind of hard because I have to stop and then I'll be like, oh, just a minute, guys. A lot of side effects to all of the medication, good and bad. I get a lot of tremors from my medications, and it's... Just something that kind of bugs me when I'm trying to do everyday um, tasks and I'm shaking. And being on prednisone, it's made, makes you hungry so eating, trying to eat healthy to keep my kidney, that's a lot worse because you get hungry all the time and it makes your cheeks puffy and I don't like that. <laughs> I disliked gaining weight a lot because I looked like a carrot fat kid very stumpy and, and ugly. We didn't like my, my baby like that. Didn't like it at all. <laughs> and um, it can also make you lose your hair, which that slightly happens to me, but that's only one. Sometimes, not always. Thank God. It won't like make you go bald. It just hair will fall out every now and then. You gotta deal with it. You recover. And if you want to get a shape back, just hit hit the gym. Join, do some sports. I mean, you're back to normal in no time. You know, you do the meds and that just becomes a daily thing that it's just part of you. So, 
I guess at first it's a lifestyle change, but it was so long ago that I don't remember it. So I'm just kind of like, oh yeah, I do this, whatever. At first my mom reminded me constantly I'd forget some doses, but after a while I decided, no, I, my mom can keep reminding me because when I came to clinic, they told me it's your responsibi responsibility to lecture me. And I don't like being lectured over, over and over about the same subjects, so I decided I'm going to take matters into my own hands and not take my medications by myself. Sometimes I have to remind my mom what medications I take. She's busy, but you know, I have to remind her sometimes. And it really helps that now I'm managing my medications. Remember, your medications are essential for your life, and there's no, there's no maybe tomorrow. It's either take it now or tomorrow you'll be in sick kids again, and it's probably going to suck for you. For everybody around you, because now you just took time out of your parents' day, you gotta get poked, taking an IV full of fluids, a brand new set of medications, and potentially you might be have to, you might have to take a, get put on a list for your kidney. So important, like it's your life, so you have to try to remember and make sure you take it every day. It keeps you alive. That is the main reason you are on the medication. It is to make sure you don't get a rejection or infection with your kidney or your heart or whatever. Just, you need to stay alive. Just take them because you need to stay alive. That is the only reason you take them is to stay alive. <laughs> take your medications. Don't whine about it. Just enjoy your life.